Erie County Sheriff's Office is speaking out tonight about a new report. Yesterday, we learned how often his office uses a controversial tool to track cell phone use. Tonight, News 4's Dave Graber is bringing us the sheriff's response. Dave? Well, Jackie, Erie County Sheriff Timothy Howard spoke exclusively with News 4 today, saying the NYCLU's report released yesterday is flat out wrong. And that each time his office used the Stingray device, the situation called for it. Either they had a court order, a subpoena, or a warrant, or it was an emergency. Now, Sheriff Howard said the Stingray device is an essential part of his office's technology and one they'll continue to use. The Erie County Sheriff's Office has used the Stingray device 47 times during the past four and a half years. Howard said 20 of those times it was used during an emergency situation, like a person was threatening their own life or the life of someone else. The remaining 27 instances involved a legal order, like a court order, a warrant, or a subpoena. Now, Howard said the court's decision to release the documents allows him to discuss the use of the Stingray, but he said the fallout will likely make the job more difficult for law enforcement. We also know that the criminals have been educated, the very people that to make our streets safe, we want the ton of year that we need to to get off the street, they've been educated as well. Don't, I mean, how to avoid capture. And that's, that's what we were hoping to prevent. The public has been educated, the criminals have been educated, the, the suicidal people have been educated. Well, thank you all very much. Now, Jackie, the sheriff went on to say he actually thinks the use of the Stingray device has been diminished because of all the media's attention it's receiving. But again, they'll continue to use it because Howard said it saves lives. I also contacted the NYCLU today who responded to the sheriff saying Howard should establish clear guidelines for the technology. And they're happy the case was able to shed some light on such an important law enforcement tool. Live in the newsroom, Dave Graber, News 4 at 6.